Hi guys, so today is Thursday and I actually left the house today. <laughs> I've just been staying home like so much. I feel like I just I would just rather stay home than go out anywhere. Um, especially with how hard it was to like get to actually like leave the driveway this morning. I like I ran back in the house for like five different things, or maybe it wasn't five, I don't know, but I forgot. First I forgot my phone, and then I couldn't find my phone, and then I had to have Greg call my phone so I could find it. Finally found it, came back out, and then I forgot like a water bottle, and then I didn't have anything for myself to eat, so I thought I could grab something from the garage. There was nothing down in the garage. I had to run back upstairs for something else. Anyway, I felt like I was in and out of the house like 10 times today just trying to leave um maybe it wasn't that bad <laughs> but it felt like it was i feel like i would be better at leaving the house if i did it all the time and i had like everything down pat like in order ready and i just like knew everything that i needed to grab to leave the house but i don't go out that much anymore <laughs> right now so when i do i'm just like all over the place um but anyway finally got out of the house i dropped chase off with my mom um, and he wasn't even there that long. I think he was maybe there like an hour. I'm already on my way back home. Um, I had to go to TJ Maxx to return some stuff that I bought online that didn't fit. I had two pairs of boots and a pair of like, uh, like fuzzy leggings type of things, but they were so itchy. I could not even, I put them on and at first they were like comfortable, but then after like 10 seconds, I was like, oh my god, these are so itchy, and I had to take them off. I don't know if it would have gotten better after I washed them, but I didn't want to test it. Um, so I returned that stuff, and it was just easier to not have Chase with me, because it was like boxes, and I just had a lot of stuff to carry. Um, anyway, I did that. I, I looked around for a little bit. I got a couple things. Not. I'll show you when I get home. Nothing too exciting. Um, there was a lot of cute stuff there though, like a lot of cute like decorations and just like like wall decor and stuff like that and I was like so tempted to just like buy everything but I don't know, like I want to wait until we actually make sure that we're actually getting this house so we're closing on Wednesday, the 15th. Is it a Wednesday? Yeah, the 15th. Um, that's when we close and you know I just want to make sure that everything goes through before I start buying stuff, although I did buy two things but could go for anywhere that we're living um but i can't really buy decorations or anything yet because i don't know where i'm gonna have space for things like where i'm gonna be able to put things or what i'm gonna want so even though they had a ton of cute stuff i didn't really get anything um and yeah i don't know i thought noah was gonna fall asleep in the car on the way there or like on the way to my mom's house would have been nice but he did not fall asleep and now he has completely missed his first nap and he was just kind of like whining through the store. Not like mad whining, I guess, but just like tired whining. Which I thought was going to turn into mad whining <laughs> like any minute. So I kind of just hurried up and got out of there. Um, yeah, I don't know. We've got, I've gotten him sleep trained, which is amazing. It took like five. On the fifth night, he finally went to bed and laid down immediately and went to sleep immediately with like no crying. So took a good five nights to get there but now it's just like I put him in his bed in his crib for naps and for bedtime fully awake close the door and he goes to sleep and I love it um where was I going with this um I was gonna say that we've gotten onto such a good schedule during the day like with his naps and just like the times that he takes his naps like I know exactly when he's tired and we have our routine and everything and it just sucks like like I almost hate coming out of the house because it all gets messed up now he hasn't had his first nap I don't know when he's gonna take a second nap like what are we gonna do the day is a wreck now all because I had to come out for an hour and a half <sighs> it's almost like I feel like it'd just be easier to just go out on the weekend when Greg is home and he could stay with Noah and Chase or whoever. Um, but anyway, I've been talking for too long, so I will show you the couple things that I got when I get back home. Okay, so we are home now. Um, I picked up Burger King for Chase for lunch and I got just a... I think he's going to sleep. I just got a thing of chicken nuggets, but I have some leftovers from dinner last night that I'm gonna have for lunch. 
I have Noah upstairs in bed. He was just laying down, but now he's kind of like sitting up. He didn't have any nap at all today. He fell asleep for like five or seven minutes or something in the car. And then like when we got home, I took him out and nursed him. I didn't even give him lunch because he's so tired and I figured like he wouldn't eat well, especially after he just nursed. So I just put him upstairs to see if he'll go to sleep and I'm hoping that he goes to sleep and takes a nap because he really needs one and I need him to take a nap too. Um, I didn't, I barely got anything at the store. Like I don't even know if it's worth showing you, but I'll show you in a second. Um, gonna try to have some lunch first. Gonna wait and make sure that he is actually going to sleep before I do that. And yeah. So did I say that I tried to put Chase down for a nap? I don't remember, not Chase, Noah. I don't remember if I said that or not, but I tried putting him down for a nap before and he wouldn't go to sleep. So I got him back up, fed him some lunch, and now he's back upstairs for a nap. And Chase is also hopefully taking a nap. Chase wasn't taking naps for like a month. I just like gave up on it and I was just letting him do quiet time in his room because he had not been falling asleep. He'd just been like yelling like that he wants to get up and just not going to sleep. So I was like, I gave up and I was just letting him do quiet time in his bed with the tablet for like a month. We stopped naps, but just like a few days ago, we tried to get him to take a nap again and he actually fell asleep and now he's been back taking naps again. So that is awesome because I've been like some days getting him to sleep and Noah to sleep at the same time for like a little bit, like an hour or so. And then I have like an hour where they're both upstairs sleeping and it's amazing. And now it's even better because like Noah is sleep trained. So he's falling asleep by himself. So I could see the light at the end of the tunnel of like, sleep struggles <laughs> and it's awesome um but anyway let me just show you real quick what i got at tj maxx so i just got two of these new shower curtains these are like shower curtain liners and i really like these better than the plastic ones just because they look nicer and also they don't get like water spots like they don't get all like grimy with like um what is it like water buildup and stuff they're like material but they're waterproof yeah waterproof i was gonna say maybe it's water resistant but waterproof so yeah i got two of them because we have two bathrooms in this house with two tubs so that's really nice but i thought it would just be nice to have new shower curtains and not bring like our old dirty shower curtains with us with us so we can just hang up new ones and these are just for the inside i want to get like new like decorative curtains for the outside but i got two of those i tried to get two of these but like two of the hotel collection brand because I feel like this feels nicer. It feels like a better quality, but I couldn't find another one. So then I just got this one. Um, and then I randomly, I wasn't even looking for these, but I just saw these when I was looking around and they're like those clear little bumpers, I guess is what they're called, but like for the inside of cabinets, like these type of things, but there was, is it still on here? No, it fell off. The other one fell off on this side and I just figured that those might be things that we want to put on the cabinets in our new house. Like I'm figuring that they'll probably be, like they won't be on there at all or they would have fallen off or whatever. Um, and they were only like $3. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick up some of those because if we move in and we're like, oh, I wish we had some of those. Now we have them and we don't have to order them. So I got that. And then I also just got this book for Chase called Sheep Go to Sleep. I always buy him books at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods because they're so much cheaper than like Target or anywhere else. Um, but that's just the stuff that I got when I was out. Not very exciting. I will get to purchase exciting things later. Um, you know, like after we move in and everything. It's like I feel like I'm gonna wanna be very stingy and like not buy a lot because we're buying a house and that's very expensive so i feel like i'm not gonna want to spend money but at the same time like this is gonna be our first home like our first home that we own and i just want it to feel like home i just want it to feel nice and like look nice-ish so i feel like i am gonna buy some things but i'm gonna try not to go crazy i'm gonna try to figure out like you know where's the best places to spend money like what's worth buying new you know what i mean um there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be keeping from here and using it in the new house, but I also want to get some new stuff too because it's so much fun. Anyway, our Christmas tree is still up and it is January 8th now, I think. So I think I'm going to try to get some of this taken down. 
Okay, so it has been several days since the last time I picked up the camera. I think the last thing that I was talking about was how I wanted to take the Christmas tree down and I wasn't planning on recording that, but good thing I didn't decide to record that because it took a long time. It took me like two days, I think. Um, I did it like half and half. I took all the stuff off one day and then I took the tree down the next day and it was such a pain in the butt folding up all the branches and everything. And then we had bought a, like a big bin that I was going to use for like Christmas decorations. But then I realized that we would need to use that bin for the Christmas tree because we ended up having to throw out the box that the tree came in because it got moldy. Um, so I was planning on sticking the tree in this like huge bin that Greg got from Home Depot and it doesn't even fit in there. So now it's just in the garage. It's like in the bin, but I can't close it. I need to get something else for the Christmas tree. So it's taken down, it's in the garage, but it's not fully done yet because I need to do something with that definitely before we move. Um, so I don't know, I might get like a bag or something. I think Amazon sells like tree bags. I don't know if they're any good or not, but I need to do something with that. But yeah, the tree is gone. Um, and then, yeah, I don't even know what this vlog is. Like, I feel like I only have a couple clips. So whatever this is, it is what it is. Um, but we bought our first new house. Well, actually, that's not true. I bought a couple things for the house, but this was like the first Home Depot trip that we made the other day. Um, and we bought toilet seats, you guys. Like, we bought our toilet seats for our own house. Hopefully they fit. <laughs> we bought that, we bought two of those, and um, a couple boxes. We only have a couple, we got five boxes so I can start packing up a, a little bit. Um, we're not gonna like fully start yet. Probably not until like right before we move, <laughs> then we'll really start packing. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I bought a couple more uh, clear bins for just like storing and stuff. That's my new thing, it's like clear bins. I love them, but yeah. I don't know, I just want to come on here come on here and wrap this video up so I can finally get it up. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you could see my hand, I'm doing this a lot while I'm talking. Good thing you can't see that. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.